<laughs> but he's got some new he's got some new material tonight he says so uh, let's see how it's going I'm sure it'll be all sunshine and unicorns let's have a nice welcome for mr. John Tate Alrighty, thank you very much. New stuff already. The first time I ever heard the term metrosexual, I just thought it was somebody that liked to fuck in the back of a bus. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to like that one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, it went over well the other night. I uh, was having a killer set the other night at the Walmart open mic. <laughs> at least until the security took away the intercom. <laughs> That one's just for me. Yeah, so I was eating pussy the other night. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. I've been singing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been single long enough to be able to tell you that there is nothing like the smell of bacon in the morning to remind the guy to invest in proper lube. Yes, I sometimes use ketchup every 28 days just to make myself feel like I'm in a relationship. <laughs> and I gotta tell you that when I do go out, I don't use condoms. I should properly rephrase that. I'm never given the opportunity to use condoms. <laughs> I did just hear back from the woman I took out a couple weeks ago though, so that's kind of sweet. Yes, it was a restraining order, but you know, baby steps. <laughs> It's just nice to know somebody's thinking about me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, personally, I can just say that I'm an average guy looking for a friend with benefits. Preferably dental. That's a smart one, I like that one. <laughs> However, uh, growing up, media kind of led me to believe that when a woman calls out daddy while you're having sex, that's supposed to be hot. But you know, I call out mommy just once. <laughs> Things get weird. <laughs> I also noticed that uh, as a single guy, you can ask another single person, how are you still single? You ask another person, how are you still married? That's a completely different situation. And that, I did not say that at all how I was supposed to say that. That's cool. However, uh, I can sometimes hear my upstairs neighbors having sex. And I have to say that she moans like a wounded dog. It would not surprise me at all to come home one night to find Sarah McLaughlin angrily pounding away at their front door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's have a bit of a segue. You know, the other week I finally met my biological stepfather. I'll let that one hang. <laughs> I've always wondered why are some men called stepdads and not faux pas? <laughs> they say a lot of we children of divorce tend to blame ourselves. I don't. I blame my older brother. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's something else in here. I noticed that uh, a lot of the swimwear that women wear nowadays tend to expose about like 90% of the skin. And I like to think myself as being polite enough to only pay attention to the covered parts. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all of this new stuff, it's all good. Alrighty, where else was I? Okay, yeah, there we go, I remember. I am 45, and I got to tell you that internet dating absolutely sucks, because the average profile reads like a really sad resume for a temporary job that you know you're not going to enjoy. <laughs> and at my age, the women's profiles, way too many cats, way too many kids. And I have to say that in my opinion, Whitney Houston was completely wrong. Children are not the future. <laughs> the future belongs to hovercrafts and holograms. <laughs> because those are difficult to create. My son was conceived on a quad of acid while a VHS copy of The Song Remains the Same played on my 14-inch television in my mom's basement. <laughs> I like that. So yes, I was married and divorced way too young. However, it taught me a couple things, uh, such as 
Women have a tendency to fake an orgasm for the sake of the relationship, whereas men have a tendency to fake the relationship for the sake of the orgasm. Then <laughs> 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 that's funny. <laughs> you also told me that when your prudish partner, out of the blue, tells you that she wants you to turn off the lights one night because she wants you to put it in her arse, this is a learning experience. Because first of all, you really have to take it slow. <laughs> and second, by all means, you have to let the light cool off first before you attempt to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a sweetheart. <laughs> used to say we were kind of young and uh, both things were rather hot and cold during the sex life, so... Uh, Things were kind of getting a little tetris until her doctor put her onto a new pill. And then things were outstanding. We were having sex all the time. It didn't matter where we were. It didn't matter what position. It didn't matter how long we were going at it. Nothing ever seemed to wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't leave you on that one. I should leave you on one more single guy joke. Because, uh, well, being a single guy, it's the 21st century, and one can one would think that you could actually leave yourself with like a little bit of uh, internet porn. No. I discovered this while I was doing a little bit of surfing on Pornhub the other night. I discovered that my grandmother did a skin flick in the 70s. <laughs> and I'm not sure what's more disturbing, finding out your grandma did porn, or using that as the motivation for a strong finish three months later. <laughs> That's going to be my time. You have this whole day to run the plan. John Tate, everybody. The end is silent. Keep it going for John. Yeah. Oh, boy. You guys have been very...